morning creeps this video is a very special video this has been a very 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 highly requested video today i'm going to walk you through all the add-ons and ui interface settings that i use to absolutely kill it this will be good for you going ahead into season three get you nice and started so this will all be footage from the ptr um, but yeah let's hop right into it now and we'll walk through it together all right first things first maybe looking at the screen and thinking Probably, what the fuck? That looks so sexy. Uh, your entire UI is gorgeous and I love it so much. Thank you. I basically, I wanted to make sure that with my UI, you see as much as possible while also having as little as possible on the screen. Having unnecessary clutter is not good. Especially when you're doing things like mythic raiding or doing high level content, you don't want to be seeing unnecessary bits of information that's just gonna be clogging up your screen and not allowing you to see something coming in. Only some real elite players can sort of navigate their way through an, an interface like that. So for example, one thing I like to pin it down to is <clears throat> some people are very skilled in taking in information from a screen in certain areas, and some people aren't quite as skilled at, as, at doing that, but they are more skilled at learning a rotation or patterns, things like that. They can input that information a lot quicker. I'm the type of person where I need to see as little as possible because if I see too much, I will get a bit overwhelmed. I won't know what to focus on and I won't be able to focus at all. So for me, this whole UI has been built around seeing a minimal amount, but the maximum amount of effect. Okay, let's start off with the, let's just start off with the plater first. So this is a custom plater profile available um, to Twitch subs by me. Uh, <clears throat> what I wanted to do here was just make sure it was nice and clean. Uh, I think that plater is so good. You can fully customize your nameplate. You can make it look nice. You can make it look more informative if you want to, but I try and make sure that the only things on there are my debuffs. For me, I'm looking at the, the character. I'm looking at the NPC when I'm fighting. If I'm hitting something here, I'm almost always looking in here. And if there's a debuff on the target, very likely, very likely? The likelihood is I will be also seeing the debuff here. Because of this, I've actually taken away debuffs from the uh, target plate there. I don't need to see it twice. I'm not going to be looking for it twice. I'm a DK, I'm a Frost DK this season as well. Debuffs on the target will not be important to me. It, for Frost DK, it will be more important for buffs on me as opposed to debuffs on the target. If I have Frost Fever or not, my recoil will tell me. If I Razor Eyes, it will naturally stack up. I don't need to track it. Debuffs on the targets are not that important. I must say that there are obviously exceptions to this. I'm speaking in a general term. Debuffs are obviously important. Wave of Souls is important. Reaper's Mark is important. But also, if you play Rider, then yeah, tracking Troll Reigns, um, Chains of Ice, so you know when to pop them, that is important as well. So they're probably the three debuffs that you want to know. But for me, I have them all in my Weak Aura pack, so I don't need to track them on the nameplate. Okay, next. So you've been seeing me pressing some buttons here. We have things like, uh, we have these Weak Auras, and then we also have this, this lovely little action bar. I've completely gone off of LVR. I was an LVI king for a long time, but the FPS drop that you get from LVI, the CPU usage is just too high, and it's not really that worth it. I feel like there are add-ons out there that you can get the same effects as LVI without the intense need for all of your power. So I've switched over to three different things. I've got Bartender here, so this is Bartender. I've assembled my Bartender in a way that matches my Logitech G600. Let me see if I can kind of show you. Yeah, so I've got that mouse. Each one of these buttons is my damaging ability. So I, all I need to do is just be thumb pressing everything. I'm not doing these mad jumps with the keyboard. I'm not doing that. I'm just doing these little ones to every different ability that I need to do. I've been doing that for 15 years. My thumb is, my thumb is lethal, but that's why it's set up like this. I can very easily see what button I need to press next. It helps me with, uh, if it's in a line, it's a, little, it's a little bit harder to visualize which button on my mouse I need to press, but I've completely got the, the, um, the mind muscle connection to know which buttons to press here. Um, <clears throat> apart from this middle one, for some reason, middle one never works. No idea. Anyway, so I've got the bartender set up this way for my damaging abilities. Then I've got the uh, shift with all those buttons on the side for defensive utility buttons. And then I have things like one, two, three, F, uh, sorry, F, sh R, shift R, shift one, shift two, shift three. And then this is just unused. So I have loads of real estate for bindings, uh, especially with this mouse, really fucking helps. But you have bartender for that. Okay, so the second thing is unhalted unit frames. 
an altered unit frames has done a really good job of kind of replicating the, the feel for LVI that I really like. The, but if anything, I actually think I've made it look nicer than I did with LVI. So I just, because I was just playing around with it more, I just discovered more settings that I didn't actually already have and probably could have gotten from LVI, but this is going to do it for a fraction of the cost, which is fantastic. So an altered unit frames, very good target, um, very good target plates, very good boss plates, player plates, everything very simple to change around as well so things like here you can just copy if you have a very nice player plate that you like you can just copy it straight to the target straight to the boss target of target focus everything it's all good the only thing it is missing is just frame um party and ray frames but honestly i don't feel like i need that i um i use the edit mode so i use the general just a normal blizzard ui and these party frames are good enough they're so nice i actually think they, they look really clean um, even if you put like a little border Nah, fuck it, no border. I think they still look clean. Raid, uh, raid style party frames. And then in addition to that, I also enable, enable, <laughs> enable class colors here. Um, <clears throat> I don't know, uh, this one, not so much. I don't know what this one is for, but this one, definitely. This one might be raid. But enable those and it looks super clean. I'll uh, chuck in a little clip now, but I think it looks perfect. Unhalted unit frames as well. You can have buffs and auras showing but obviously like i said before i don't really bother that i just have the auras in the middle as opposed to on the side on my character and this tracks all the most important buffs so now we're going to a little bit of a meaty part of the video and go over weak auras okay so let's go over weak auras weak auras i have my pack here and essentially what this does is just shows me all the things that are necessary to see and it's updated for season three now as well but as frost there's not loads you need to track but you just need to track enough so this has derived from in, in such early days years and years ago i downloaded this pack from noggy and he had a really good pack and i liked it so much that i replicated it myself made a brand new one with loads of different um new buffs things like that but it's completely different now but it looks very similar and i think he needs a shout out i don't think i can take your full credit for this i have to say noggy well done your, your week was were sick so good that i basically wanted to make my own in your stead you are a legend but moving on let's look talk about frost initially and we'll go over the frost we call it. okay so for frost there's a few things that i think are pretty vital to track so we'll walk through it together so i've got two different groups i have my reaper's mark group this is these are this, this shows me the stacks on the current target and then it'll do a little um explosion when it's done when it blows up And that means finished, done. The explosion is very helpful for me because it allows me to time my bone grinder to make sure that I can prop this first before my Reaper's Mark goes off. You really want your Reaper's Mark to be benefited by bone grinder. I then track things like exterminate because I want to make sure I can spend both my exterminate procs and I want to know the difference between an exterminate glow and a killer machine glow. I don't want to think I have a killer machine when in fact I have an exterminate. That prop there, that we call there, is very helpful to find that out. Anyways, I'm not going to go over every single week or and explain why each one is there, but there are a lot of things here that you don't need to track all the time. Things like your um, <clears throat> Frost Fever. You don't need to know if Frost Fever is on the target. You need to know if it's off the target. And therefore, we call it like this, where it just shows me if it's not on the target is very useful. I don't need to know if it is on the target. Things like that with Razor Ice as well. If Razor Ice is on the target, I don't need to know if it is on. I just need to know if I don't have five stacks and if it's going to be falling off soon. If you talk about Unholy for a second as well, seeing as we did mention about Frost, it's important to have a few weak auras that track certain things. For example, something for your Sand Lane buff is super important because Sand Lane is so good. And if you drop this buff, you really do suffer. So you do want to make sure that you always have an eye on this. As well as some sort of uh, buff for your Dark Transformation because Dark Transformation windows in uh, Sand Lane are so strong. So you want to know when you're coming off of it, how much time you've got left, things like that. Very, very important. Violent Plague is, is almost the same as like Frost Fever, except Violent Plague does a lot more damage than Frost Fever. So this is way more important to know whether or not you have it or you don't. So I have a uh, weak aura which just tells me when I don't have it and when it's rolling off. So then in five seconds, it will re it will appear, tell me I need to reapply it. Then I also have one for first drink wound as well and shows you what's on the target. Super nice because it's right there in the middle of my screen. I can really easily see it. And then Death and Decay, very important for AoE. You need to have an aura that shows you this. Um, and then I also like to track separately Sudden Doom right here. And this would be, be in the spot where my killing machine is because they're kind of like 
hand in hand, they have their buff, they're kind of like the same, so I figured to put them in the same place. And then Fester, Festering Scythe is quite important to track as well because you want to know whether or not you'll be carrying a scythe to the next pack, if you're close, if you need to do anything to trigger it. I put this in the same sort of category as Fester Might because I don't need to necessarily see it here because this is very important buffs I need to see as soon as possible. These are buffs that aren't as important to, to see and that are quite natural and will just come. Things like the Runic Corruption, I don't need to see that. But it's helpful to see if I do proc it and think, okay, nice, I'm going to get some runes back soon. Anyway, lastly, the Rune Bar and the Rune Power Bar. The Rune Bar I actually just got off Agio. No, I didn't make that myself. I edited it just to make sure it looked, it looked nice and it fit with my theme. But then the Runic Power Bar, I fully created this myself. It's not hard to make. You can easily just import a uh, Runic Bar or and, and um, do the bar texture to be Blizzard Maelstrom. Or you can just show some support to the channel and download my pack and then you don't have to do any of that. But cool, that is Weekora's in a nutshell, and I find that that makes the game so much smoother for me, the information intake is so much easier, and it looks fucking good. Okay, so moving on, next we have Details. Details is such an important add-on, really good for tracking your, your damage, what you're doing, whether or not you're doing the correct amount of damage, because you can easily see, with the, with the, with the split of an eye, whether or not your current rotation has netted you more damage, if it's a big, significant chunk. I mean, a lot of the time, you can look at your DPS, and it might be to do with... R&D or prox or something like that is why your DPS isn't as high as it might normally be but generally speaking details is a really good way of breaking down ability damage and finding out what works and what doesn't. This add-on is also really good because it does more than just track damage you can also track healing um, and there's other different types of things you can pop in there like damage taken, enemy damage taken is really good for seeing which mobs, which priority mobs are actually being hit by players so that's super good but also for me it allows me to uh, track as that. Yeah, allows me to put this plug in where I can track the abilities and so you guys can see what I press in real time. Okay, so the next few add-ons we're going to speak about are just these small add-ons that just do little tiny things but still make the game look really nice. So you have Omni CC, that is where the numbers on things come from. Really nice, especially on cooldowns and things like that, and you can edit it to make it look even nicer. Omni CC, great add-on. Then you have basic minimap. So because of LVY, LVY changes the minimap to look a lot nicer. Without LVY, you have the horrible little circle, and I think that looks like shit. So basic minimap looks super good, and then you can just drag it as well. As well. Once it's there, it's there. Pop that. There, there you go. It looks, looks clean. So basic minimap there. Now, in dungeons and in raids, I am a big fan of bigwigs. Bigwigs is super good, and then little wigs is very good as well. So they are must-haves in order to know timings for, for trash packs, timings for boss packs, but also you want to make sure that you configure your big rigs in a way where the information is easily readable. I've spent a long time editing and trying to kind of find the best scenario that works for me, but I feel like the little text being here, just above my weak auras, where I'm, again, my eyes will always be, means that I can almost always see the message that is coming in. Now, big emphasis message up here, when I need to be, when something is important and I need to see it. It'll be in the same places as the bars. For me, I have my smaller bars just above the target plate. So because obviously, naturally, the boss that I'll be targeting will be doing these abilities. So it makes sense for them to be here. And then the emphasis bars is right under here. It will soon come. But it's under my action bars because my eyes will also be in this area. Oh, that needs to move. Let's just move those. There we go. Perfect. <clears throat> so my emphasis bars will be here because it means that I don't have to move my eyes as much. I can see exactly what's going on when it's coming in as soon as possible. Okay, and then we're looking at Deja character stats. That is uh, the stats here. So looking at your item level here and then the numbers on the item. I just think that looks clean. I like that. I don't need to look at the whole icon, but I do need to see this item level. So I like that. Obviously, it's PTR, so I'm using lots of different strange gear, but Deja character stats super good for that and then i believe we're pretty much getting to the end here we have nameplay sct now this is an add-on that a lot of people are asking for all the time and it is what are your damage numbers that they are nameplay sds sct so <clears throat> very simple lightweight add-on but you have to disable normal blizzard numbers otherwise you'll have both the blizzard numbers and the nameplay sct and obviously you only want nameplay so nameplay sct for that I have Narcissus. Narcissus is basically only there for me to take photos of my character for YouTube. So you wouldn't need this in your uh, in your game. Don't worry about that. And then true stat values being the last add-on, which I feel like is pretty ne necessity. And it's the bar you see under there. So for example, crit, this bar, once it fills up, it allows me to find out what my um, 
diminishing return will be and how much I'm losing. You can probably just do the maths if you wanted to, but I feel like just having it there means I don't have to do the maths, and that is nice. It also will tell you on an item if your mastery will be degraded because of the diminishing return. So for example, House of Cards, if I was to pop this, because I will then go over the mastery diminishing return, I will not actually be getting 10.4K, uh, 10, 10.4K mastery. Yeah, that was right the first time. Why did I stumble? I'd actually be getting 9.2. Okay, and general just settings that we have, I do turn off the screen effects, um, spell alert opacity. So where is that? Yeah, this one. So spell alert opacity, I turn that down because I don't want to see the rings from Killing Machine. I don't care about those. I will be able to see them with my weak auras. So I turn them off. And I think that's realistically the only thing that's actually important in terms of the settings here. Nothing here really changes because I don't cast. Uh, I don't ever have my personal resource display or anything like that. If I have a look at anything else uh, in terms of interface, I do, yeah, turn on the class colors for raid frames and turn my chat bubbles off because I just don't want to see chat bubbles at any point. I don't need to. It's pretty pointless. It's literally just taking up uh, real estate on my on my screen. So if someone's speaking and it's just spamming out the, like the uh, marker thing, or like a marker speech bubble for from one of the add-ons. I'm just going to see that constantly in the middle of my screen. It's like, no, I don't want that. So I'll just turn chat bubbles off. But yeah, in terms of graphics and things like that, optimization-wise, I think I'm not really very well optimized, if I'm completely honest. But um, I just have everything realistically on low for the most amount of graph uh, most amount of frames as possible. I do turn my gamma up so I can see a little bit more. But anyway, that is a full rundown of the add-ons that I'll be using in season three. Um, all my weak horrors, my plater profile, they are available um, on my my Twitch sub. So anybody that's a Twitch sub, you can you can download these on my Discord. The LVI profile that is a match of this is on my um, Discord as well. Obviously, because I don't use LVI, I still made an LVI profile for you guys to use to look as much as possible like this. So if you do want to just use LVI instead of downloading the other add-ons, that's available for you too. There you have it folks. That's one of the most requested videos I've ever received. It's all about my UI. How have I made it this way? What do I use? There you go. I hope it helps everybody. And if it did, make sure you subscribe to me, leave a like on this video. Um, you want to stay up to date with anything DK, anything wow. Subscribe. I stream often and you will love the stream i promise you will but yeah you've got a season three guide coming out very very soon as well we're going to get you nice and ready and then hit your boy up for any coaching if you want to have a little head start in the season three game it's going to be a good one anyways peace guys see you later bye